Hey, how'd it go fixing my life? Uh, not great. There's nothing I can do with this body. You and the trash guy now wave to each other. Oh, really? It's once a week. It's not that bad. It, he really lit up. Is he a veteran, at least? Does it matter? You're saluting the trash guy now. All right, let's switch back. Hey, Chris. Is that you? Yes, Brian. It's God, that is a tight belt. How does he live like this? If I'm in Chris's body, he must be in mine. He's got to be freaking out. Oh, my God. Peter! Peter? You in there? What happened to my body? He's panicking. We can't let him know what's going on. Don't worry, I got an idea. Well, here you go. About to put you in front of the mirror right now. There's a place in France, hole in the wall, where the men can see it all. They're dancing in their underwear and their bras. But I'm not tired. I want to go to the clam and... Oh, my God, the machine's been damaged. It's broken when the fat man tried to keep Michael Shannon from going insane. Snowflakes. Breeze through a cornfield. Peter, I'm gonna need you to fill out your time card. Yeah, sure, I'll have it by the end of the day. <laughs> we'll hire new people and start again tomorrow. We now return to a human hand rolling a ball of clay. We have to fix the machine. Gotta help my son Chris with his homework. Well, if you finish early. They've all switched bodies, let's go. All right, let's get upstairs and fix- Peter, come in the kitchen, I need your help. God, keep him busy, I'll make this quick. I'm actually gonna be a while. Here, load these in the car. Oh, darn it. Darn. Please tell me you didn't forget. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, remind me what that is again? Ben learns how to give his wife an orgasm. Wait, are you saying... Peter, everything okay? You hardly spoke the whole car ride. Prospect of intercoursing you, darling. Brian, you've got to help me. P-related class on the female orgasm. She's crazed. Right, so I can take your place in Peter's body. Forty-five minutes to Weekapog. If we hurry, we can get there before Stewie's scarred for life. Yeah, well, why do I have the overwhelming urge to eat Cheetos and masturbate in the woods? I like us learning about each other. Okay, everyone, please put your bananas and donuts back on the table. We're done with that exercise. Oh, good lord! I mean, va-va-voom, right, other men? I'm confused as hell, but I'm enjoying these graham crackers, so I'm not gonna say anything. I think that was on purpose. You owe my wife a hundred bucks for a lavatory misunderstanding. For my life. Yeah, what are you even talking? Oh, Stewie. I need to get out of here. All right, let's have an inconsistently smashed windshield chase. Joe's swapped bodies with Consuela. That must mean the Everyone whole town swapped, swapped bodies. bodies. Damn it, I was gonna say the whole town. Freaky! Back to you, Tom. This just in. All kids report to the blue van in the park at 3 p.m. for free popsicles. Don't do it. Don't do what I was gonna do. <laughs> no! No! You've perverted something beautiful! Different voices are coming out of different mouths. Ha ha! Wow, what a seminar. That Dr. Johan sure knows his stuff. Get over here. Ugh, gross! The machine activated, and it swapped everybody in town. I'm gonna open the door with no hands. Uh -huh. I'll walk you through the repairs. First, open the back panel. Chris's pudgy fingers won't fit inside the panel. Crap! I do this all the time. Where's me? Hey, who installed this car seat? It's not even attached. Okay, just use his tiny hands to switch the black and yellow wire. Okay, I think I found it. Now I need you to strap the body swapper on your back and climb to the top of the tower. Munch a bunch of Fritos! I'm at the top. What now? Now, you have to get struck by lightning. How do I do that? You're an atheist. Offend God. You can't say that. No, 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 no. listen to a word Dr. Johan said, did you? No, I did not. I mean, <laughs> the movie Roadhouse. And now I will disguise myself as a prostitute named Valerie. What the devil is that? It's my own invention. A steam-driven mechanical exoskeleton. 
It's cutting edge technology, Watson. Exchange money for sexual services, Governor. And you'll proposition me loud enough so the killer can hear. Love for sale. Appetizing young love for sale. Looking good, honey. No blacks. Love for sale. Race contingent love for sale. Hello, Yeah, Governor. Uh, have we met? Your voice sounds very familiar. What the hell is that? The hell. Watson. Distracted. A lot of rats in London. That's for you. It's your fiance, Constance. You lie. You're just jealous. Well, let's go to her place and I'll show you. Oh, sorry. Today was y'all's cleaning day. Just go easy. It really hurt on the way in. Ow, 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 ow. She's. She's gone. I'm sorry, Watson. Unfortunately, it appears my deductions were correct. Murder in the bonnet. The murder in the bonnet. Oh, I was wrong. I love it. It's for our honeymoon to Paris. No doubt she'll be using those for her escape. Very well. Then we're off to France. That's right. We're off to gay Paris. Let's get separate rooms just so we can spread our stuff out. Watson, do you have thruppence for the porter? I have tuppence. So you don't have thruppence? I have tuppence. How much do you have? I have nuppence. You're gonna get a comeuppance. Ugh, I hate when they let the infirm ride on the train. Next stop! Station. It's nice of the locals to act as their own train crossings. Never crossed the English Channel before. I hope no one from the train is on this boat. I'm wearing the same outfit. I wouldn't worry. Looks like it's just a bunch of minor celebrities. Finally, Paris. What an ordeal. Yes, but how do we find Constance in one of the biggest cities? There she is. Quick, after her. This way, Holmes. She's heading towards... Holmes? I couldn't come here and not do this. She has appendicitis, by the way. Gone up this strange building. What is it? It's the brand new Eiffel Tower. Well, let's hurry. She's getting... Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I think we may have just photobombed that family's picture. My darling. No, you're not getting what I'm saying. I didn't care about you at all. Who did you do this for? Why were you killing prostitutes with the initial V? Be victorious! <laughs> Constance! I can't believe she's gone, Holmes. Oh, you'll find someone. You're a good guy with a great body. That's it! Didn't think I'd figure it out. This calls for the old Sherlock Holmes celebratory smoke. I'll just light my pipe. Be replacing your innards with these bagpipes, Queen Victoria. Not before we put you in jail. <gasps> we made it just in time. Ah, you caught me, Mr. Holmes. I suppose it's back to jail for me. You can dispense with the act, Professor Moriarty. Holmes, what are you talking about? Moriarty's dead. Holmes, what gave me away? Constance, she said that you'd be victorious. That was the vital clue that these murders were for my benefit. You cannot catch what you cannot see. While two toothless British homeless people had filthy sex in an alleyway, they would become the grandparents of the guys from Oasis. She arranges for me to kill your imposter. Conclusion that I put the wrong man away. Constance would lead us away from England while you killed the last prostitute with the name V. And I'd get the blame for freeing the man who killed our beloved queen. So, political? One last mystery to solve. Why do they call you professor? I teach at Hogwarts. Really? No, but we should have done that instead of this. With this case, you saved the entire British Empire. Yes, now it will last forever. From South Africa to the Suez Canal, Jordan, Kenya, Kuwait, Malawi, Bermuda, the Falklands, yes, all part of our empire. 
and every year we don't go because you don't want to. Well, this year I am going, and the kids are coming with me. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. <laughs>